Let's watch Philly D's video. Ethan Klein, please stop? What's with that title? Why would he title it that? Amateur TikTok investigators are No, why would he title it Ethan Klein, please stop? Terrorizing this town. Russia's big, mad, and desperate. Ohio just can't catch a break. Ethan Klein done goofed again, and this is the last time. What? I don't want to talk about it. We're going to talk about Wait, what? What the fuck did I do? All that and so much more on today's. Seriously? Oh, here I am. Put warning flags on a post critical of one of his companies. And there were tons of people commenting on this and spreading this. Podcaster Ethan Klein, for example, tweeting Elon Musk, a free speech warrior, is automatically censoring articles critical of Tesla. Try liking this tweet and you'll see. And others saying things like, so Pfizer. That's it? What the fuck, dude? Is currently trending from conspiracy theorists, and those tweets can be liked, retweeted with zero issue. But noting attempting to like or retweet this Tesla post flashes a warning to find further information while providing no. Oh, here's more. Here's more. Here's more. Wait on your to just last night. And as of recording, Elon hasn't tweeted about any changes, and normally he seems like he would. But yeah, that's a situation that disappears right now. And I also, you know what? It is so beside the point of this story. But uh, since he was mentioned, I, I kind of just want to say this to Ethan Klein. Uh, can you stop talking about my fucking weight on your podcast? Well, I personally use people saying negative things about my weight or my looks as further motivation when I'm working out to the point that I even do like David Goggins s bullshit, like like taking the audio of them calling me fat or whatever language they use and, and mixing it. <laughs> with pump up songs for my workouts. There are also tons of people that deal with weight issues and eating disorders, which by the way, it's well documented that I've talked about myself having an eating disorder that I've had to really fight to overcome over the years. So when you say on your podcast to hundreds of thousands and if not millions of people that I am permanently doughy, that I am a ham, sandwich. It's fucked and I think it can have a genuinely negative impact on other people. But that's where I'm going to leave it. I don't want anyone going after anyone because of what? things that were said about me. I just think that we should all try to be better. And then I want to take a What? Philly's actually coming for me? Philly's actually making a a serious Philly's being serious right now? He put in a video that I'm like fat shaming him? Oh my god, what? What did I don't I always compliment him and say how great it is? He what the fuck? When did I say that? Well, whatever I said, it's definitely giving him a lot more respect for Dude, I'm always praising him, saying how awesome it is that he lost weight. He has never once messaged me or texted me and said, hey, can you please stop talking about my weight, by the way? Ever. What was the context that I said it in? Well, who gives a fuck that I called him doughy, dude? St what, what are you, what are you saying? Why are sponsor. you making such a... He's trying to turn this into like a big deal. He's like calling me out for body shaming him. Bro, you if you have a problem, you can text me. Like, we have each other's numbers. Just say, can you please stop talking about my weight? I would say, no problem. What the fuck? Oh, I caught... Okay, hold on. I want... I gotta... I gotta go back and watch. Does someone have a timestamp? First of all, dude, what the fuck are you doing? We were joking with each other about boxing each other. He made jokes about me, too, that he was going to beat me up. What the fuck? I'm shocked. And here I am thinking he was going to talk about the um, Nexium interview. People are saying, just say sorry. I don't even know what the fuck. I'm just, I'm in a state of shock still. I need this. I need the um, timestamp. Hold on, let me ask. Why would you, why would you ask me through your video? If he goes, I don't want anyone to go hate on Ethan. Then why did you why did you ask me like this? Do you have my phone number? We literally text. This is so weird.
like I consider me and Philly like friends or friendly. I mean, you know what I mean? We've been, we've known each other for a while. Why the fuck would he call me out on his show like that for something? He could have just said, Hey, can you please stop saying that stuff? But I never, I never like actually call him fat. I'm always just like, dude, he lost weight. In fact, I was saying I didn't want to fight him because he's gotten so fit. What the fuck, dude? The audio of them. It was the uh, recent one with Idubs. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, he's lost. He's soft. A lot of weight. No, but he's like permanently doughy. Mm. Yeah. Not, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but He's not him. Strong. Another staff mm. member is interested yeah. in fighting. Oh. Yeah, no, he, he has a, like some herniated discs or something. Mm. Idiot. Yeah, too good. much lifting. Idiot. Too much lifting. Yeah. Oh. I don't have any herniated discs. Oh, damn. So who's in better shape now? Yeah. Love said I'll fight Aiden. Oh, yeah. Aiden Ross? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I He's, want that. The exact <laughs> same everything. It's the same age, same size, same length. Mm. But he has yeah, more clouds, yeah, so but I, how, I doubt. Yeah, yeah but when, how long though. have you been retaining your semen, bro? <laughs> Come on, dude. I don't do, I don't do that. I, I that will say it's not chance, as, though. like, unlikely as you would expect. It seemed like a lot of people, once they find out that we're not going to throw, like, a jack dude in front of them and say, like, this is who your opponent is. Mm -hmm. Except for AB. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> true. Um, it, <laughs> you know, everyone gets an opportunity basically to say yes or no to the fight. It's not like we paired you up. If you say mm. yes to fighting, it means we'll pitch people to you. Who would you pair me up against theoretically? Probably Philly D, right? But he's taller than me. How much taller? He's he's doughy though. He's doughy. yeah. I don't think. I mean, he's lost. He's soft. A lot of weight. No, but he's like permanently doughy. Mm. Yeah, I mean, probably. He's just got that soft <laughs> doughy look um, to him. We call that a in my family a ham sandwich. He is a ham sandwich, <laughs> definitely. I think he has a bad kidney too, so I'd go for that. Uh. That's it. That's all I said in the context of fighting him. Okay, you know, I, I look, I have no problem apologizing. I just kind of resent the way that he did this. I think it's super fucked up. He's definitely like trying to cause start shit for me cause me problems and i also you know what it is so beside the point of this story but uh since he was mentioned i, I kind of just want to say this to ethan klein uh can you stop talking about my fucking weight on your podcast well i personally i'm not obsessing over his weight it, it, he makes it sound like i'm bullying him like every episode i'm talking about like his weight of course who cares that it's not nice don't you understand like, I'm doing a comedy podcast. I talk shit about so many people. Me and Philly have been going back and forth jokingly. He said shit about me, too. And I'm just goofing around in the context of our fight that he said he would participate in. And he's making it sound like I'm bullying him in every episode, like I'm doing segments about his weight. I'm sorry, but this is fucked up, dude. I'm always complimenting him, though. Always. Saying how he's just getting legend, how much weight he lost, and how, like, it's inspiring. Personally, use people saying negative things about my weight or my looks as further motivation when I'm working out. To the point that I even do, like, David goggins s bullshit, like, like, taking the audience. And then, meanwhile, he's using this photo of me, like, look at this fat, ugly idiot. Like, who is he to make fun of my weight? Like, that's definitely his point there, including that photo of them calling me fat or whatever language they use and mixing it with pump up songs for my workouts there are also tons of people that deal with weight issues and eating disorders which by the way it's well documented that i've talked about myself having an eating disorder that i've had to really fight to overcome over the years so when you say on your podcast to hundreds of thousands and if not millions of people that i am permanently doughy that i am a ham sandwich it's fucked and i think it can have a genuinely negative impact on other people but that's where i'm going to leave He's worried about the impact on other people. Bro, this is lame. This is fucking lame shit, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't call you a ham sandwich. Anissa did. This is so lame, bro. I'm never going to mention him, his, you know, his weight again, obviously. And again, just remember, we text. We text. 
So like he's trying to do this. I'm sorry. This is this is fucked up. And let's not remember that psychotic text he sent me during Frenemies when Trisha said something. Bro, I okay, boss. That was his his number one point was Ethan Klein, please stop. Amateur TikTok investigators are And by the way, on the heels of making this thing that I'm really proud of with this cult member. He's going to bring up that I'm somehow fat shaming him in every fucking episode. Ethan Klein, please stop. It was that number one. Amateur. And then he saves it till the end. Or no, that's not true. Eesh, bro, what the fuck? Please stop. I'm not bullying him. I'm going to text him an apology. I'm sorry. I won't mention your weight again. Some of y'all in chat, I just don't get it all how y'all are. Like, I just, I don't get it. But okay, there it is. <coughs> Alright, that's not what I expected to see. What did he say about me? I'm gonna, please, Philly D, stop talking about me. You're harassing me. Stop putting me in your thumbnails, bro. Philly D, I am so sorry. I will never mention your weight again. Some of y'all are really wild in chat. I don't know who the fuck you guys are. I, I wish that more people would talk about the Nexium interview. I don't feel like anyone's talking about it. I feel like that was awesome. And, uh, would be a great topic of conversation, but nobody's talking about that one. Daniela said, Ethan, you're being so sensitive. You're acting like the victim. He has told you repeatedly to stop and you're apologized and your apology sucked. You're acting like a child. He has not repeatedly told me to stop. There was one thing that happened during Frenemies where he was, like, mad at something Trisha said. He has never asked me to stop. All right, I, I'm over it. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow.